You may have already seen them out there. The future has hit the streets of Grand Rapids, but officially beginning tomorrow, a fleet of self-driving vehicles will be taking riders along a 3.2-mile route in downtown Grand Rapids. 24-Hour News 8's Joe LaFergi is live in Grand Rapids with the kickoff to this pilot program. Joe? Yeah, hey, Tom, you know, it's not the flying car that George Jetson promised us all these years ago, but, well, this will give you a good feel of what autonomous driving could mean for your future, and obviously in Grand Rapids. Now, check out the inside of this vehicle. It is unique. Uh, there is a joystick here, but that's it. Everything else is on a big digital screen. They'll have somebody behind the wheel just in case something goes wrong, but really, this car is, is driving on its own. Now, for the next year, these vehicles will cruise a route from the west side to various stops downtown, 22 stops in all following the Dash West routes, but places like the Downtown Y, the Children's Museum, Van Andel Arena, all free of charge. While they have a mind of their own, there will be a human again inside, an attendant, if you will, at the controls. Just in case something goes wrong, the CEO of May Mobility, the company that's developed the driverless rides, says these vehicles are the future. And we think it's really important for the, thing, the challenges that we take on not to be demos but to be real transportation services that are solving real problems for real people. Uh, back inside, now this is where everybody will ride. This is where the, pa the passenger compartment for the vehicles. And the program is part of the Grand Rapids Autonomous Vehicle Initiative. Nine different companies are involved as well as the city of Grand Rapids. And they want to hear from you. If you take a ride in the next year on one of these uh, vehicles, they want to get your comments on uh, their social media platforms. Uh, we're talking Facebook and Twitter. We have links to those accounts at woodtv.com. And coming up later today, we're going to go for a ride in one of these vehicles. Right now, live in Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, 24-Hour News 8.